far, far away world, a guy named Jewel, or otherwise known, Tony Stark. Tony Stark had three, well, he had more, he had ten billion dollars, and he just bought a new car with it. But suddenly, this happened. More, yep, let's get and more. Uh, mm hmm. Mm hmm. This one seems to be the right one. I shall use this. A gang. A military gang with a bunch of Tony Stark's weapons kidnapped Jewel, but luckily, a scientist who lives down there in their basement where they're both currently at, he put an arc reactor on his chest and gave him some armor to fight the gang, but the scientist didn't make it. One of the one of the gang members shot him and Jewel prompt Iron Man, but whatever you want to call him, promised him to fight for good so he would attempt to make a iron suit he had to use redstone torches he had to try a bunch of different potions of to see how they affect he had to use iron of course he's iron man what the hell do you think he would use? and eventually he was able to make the man that we call today or used to because of endgame we call him iron man and of course, bro, you, you, I, you, you know, I wouldn't leave you without a scene of him flying, even though it's only like fourteen seconds. I don't have all the time in the world for. <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah. So about this whole thing, his, his, <laughs> his coworker wasn't too happy about that. Tony explained to him that he was shutting down the company so nobody else could get those weapons. Nobody else could get those weapons. And he, the co-worker told Tony that he had to live on his father's dream. But he, he, but Iron Man told the co-worker that his father never told him that he loved him. All he cared about was his work. On to the next scene. The co-worker was very mad about this, so he made a plan. He hired a guy to build the Mark I. If you watched Iron Man before, you'll know what that means. And let's talk about more about the guy that killed the scientist. He, he's a predator, I can tell you that. He kills whoever gets in his way or whoever he thinks may be a threat. Yep, he... He's killed many. He used guns. Officers. He had to shoot down securities. And this was actually. Uh, he wanted to get the Spider Venom, but he couldn't. And Iron Man knew what he had to do. He was tired of hearing all the violence that the Predator guy was committing, so he decided to fight. And as you guys see, he fell right there. He fell into the whole burning, burning skin. Very, very, very bad. No possible way he can come back to this, right? Then, what happened? He, the, the guy he hired was actually able to make the Mark I, but much bigger, much better. And uh, I'm going to let y'all watch the accent. Action, action if y'all and if y'all like pizza like the video
and then Tony hit the Mark One right inside the chest where everything was powering it. All of the all of the wires fell out once he broke it, and um, yeah, he was arrested. Mm -hmm. And this other guy who was hired, oh yeah, he he didn't get arrested because he wasn't at the scene of the crime. Ooh, I can't wait to see y'all till Iron Man 2.